Hi everybody, Martin the Flicking Feathers again today and I'm tying a salmon tube for you. This is the Lee Trembler. It's not one that I've used myself but um, I've heard good things about it and it's quite a nice looking pattern so I thought I'd do some. Somebody had asked me for a few anyway so. So we'll get my tubing device or in the adapter. And I've actually, I'm using a tube needle and the adapter just so that I've got a bit more space. Um, doing it this way, the adapter grips the needle but still holds the tube firmly where it's supposed to be without crowding the back as much. So I'm going to start my thread just shy of the edge of the tube. I'm going to come along <coughs> and then on the way down catch my rib which is just a small gold wire it's just a uni soft wire it's fine you can use UTC or whatever you like I've got to come down the tube and I'll leave about 4 or 5 mil at the back to take the junction tube in and then I'll run up and tie off that wire getting a wee bed of thread now the body material is my lad piping. So I've cut a length, I mean about the length of the tube. This is a medium. Just gotta take a kind of loose wrap and then pull it into place so that when I wind back I can cover all of that up with the thread. Making a nice hot tag. both sides there's a wee bit of go back there there's a wee bit of tinsel just sticking out that I don't like but it's easy fixed I mean if, if it doesn't bother you leave it you know That's it. Build up your tag. And then I'm just going to whip finish this. One's plenty. I've shown it the new. And then you can pull the pipe in so it's tight to the top tube. Find your head length. Start that there. And then just come in, cut this mylar away, nice and close. You don't want any ends that are going to be sticking out. Nice neat head. Just 
See my varnish is kind of blobbed there. They're a bit heavy handed. Just uh, run it back. Just use the brush to smooth it back out. And you could use UV resin if you liked. And while that's sitting, I'll just come up with the rib. We'll take a full turn at the back and then one over the, the tag. And then come up four or five turns up the body is plenty. Come across the thread, bend the wire, lock it in place. And bend and break that away. Now the pattern I have for this fly calls for uh, blue kingfisher blue hackle fibres for the throat but I've also seen it tied with bucktail and, and arctic runner. Up to you really what you use as long as you've got that colour in there. So I'm going to take a nice wee bunch of Kingfisher Blue, just do it on the underside. Just cock hackle, it's just from a Chinese Chinese hackle. I'm going to sort of encourage them to be a wee bit wide. I don't need to cover the whole bottom half of the the tube, but at the same time I want it to be reasonably visible on both sides. We had a wee bit more. And you want it coming back the length of the body into that uh, till it meets the tag basically. And you're happy. You can just grab it and tighten up. And then trim away the waist nice and close. The wing is orange bucktail, but again you can use a, a softer hair if you want, an arctic runner or whatever. But Bucktail I mean, does have a good bit of movement when it's in the water. A good bunch here, just cleaning it out. Taking away any short fibres that I don't need. It's a bit heavy. Yeah. And the wing length I like, look, twice the length of the tube, right? I mean the fish has got to usually hit the fly across the side of it so that you want the hook if you tie it like this the hook's away at the back and the hook up rate is not as good usually so two tube lengths in total a few turns to hold see how you're sitting that's nice trim away the waist Now for a bit of security and durability, what I like to do here is a wee bit of glue on the thread and come in and wind that into those butts, tidy up that head a wee bit. I mean, they wouldn't pull out but it's a bit of extra security. And then the last thing is just a wee bit of flash. I'm going to take a single strand of orange crystal hair, crystal flash, something like that. You know these twisted 
slash fibers. Tie it in on your side, bring it across to my own. And lock it in. And because it's folded, it'll never pull out. And just build your head neat. There we go, like that. And I'm just going to whip finish this behind. You don't actually need to whip finish a tube, you can just put a bit of glue on it and wrap over it. And it's very, very strong. Tighten up that knot. Some away the waist. I'll trim the crystal flash so that both strands are slightly different lengths but not longer than the, the wing itself. And it's just a case of coming in again with a wee bit of glue for the first coat. And when that's dry, which is very, very quick, we'll come in with my varnish over the top. Be a nice hard shiny shiny head so there you go, the Lee Trembler as I say not part of fish but I will fish it uh, I think it'll be a good good fly when there's a wee bit of colour in the water uh, so I hope that was useful, hope you enjoyed it if you did please uh, give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel Headlines guys, bye.